three steam engines gruff. It was autumn on Sodor. The time of year when all the trees begin to lose their old leaves. Thomas was working on his branch line with Annie and Clarabelle. So were Toby and Henrietta. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Toby. Don't the trees look spooky without any leaves? Oh, Toby. Why do you think so many things are spooky? But they are. Sometimes they look like big hands reaching over the tracks to grab you and pick you up like a toy train. <laughs> you do have a big imagination, Toby. They're only trees. Oh. Hmm. A little further along the line, Thomas noticed that one of Farmer McCall's fences was broken. Oh, dear. <gasps> be careful, Thomas. There could be a runaway animal on the track. Thomas didn't see any animals on the tracks, but he did see Trevor, the traction engine, working in a field. Oh, hello, Thomas. Hello, Trevor. There's a broken fence by the track back there. Oh, it's there. I'll tell Farmer McCall. He'll want to get that repaired before an animal escapes. That night in the shed, Thomas told Percy about the broken fence. Oh, that sounds very spooky. <laughs> Don't you start. I've already had Toby talking to me about the spooky trees. But think about it, Thomas. Who broke that fence? Or what broke that fence? It could have been anything. <gasps> it was probably just an animal. Go to sleep, Percy. I quite agree. Go to sleep. But I can't go to sleep. It's my job to pull the mail train. Poor Percy had frightened himself. But the other engines didn't really think there was anything to be frightened of. matter with you, Percy? Racing in and bashing into Henry in the middle of the night? Sorry, but, but, but I heard something v v very spooky out on Thomas's branch line. Oh, I've had quite enough of this spookiness. Just deliver the mail and let the rest of us go back to sleep. <laughs> The next morning, it was bright and sunny. And then, as I crossed over the little bridge by the water mill, I heard this strange moaning sound. Ooh! It was like nothing I've ever heard before, Thomas. It was very, very spooky. Well, it's daytime now, and the sun is shining, and I'm sure whatever it was will be long gone away. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> 